Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Harry Views back with another video and with iOS 17.2 being like a couple of weeks away from the release to the public, we're taking a look at some of the best new features that you will get with this update. Now, iOS 17.2 has great performance, good battery life, and it's packed with new features. It has more than 50 new features and changes. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at 20 of those, which I believe will be some of the best that you will get on your device with this update. And we're starting things off with the Messages app. You you know on messages when you tap on a message you can reply to that message or react to it now with iOS 17.2 you will be able to also react using a sticker so you will have this new field here that says add sticker and you can choose any of your stickers to react to that message now when it comes to stickers a really nice feature that Apple is adding with iOS 17.2 is the ability for the keyboard to now suggest you stickers so when you type something like in this case right here cat it shows you the cat emojis but you will also have the cat sticker so you have to have it of course on your stickers collection and then ios 17.2 will be able to actually suggest it to you and we finally also get the catch up arrow for messages so whenever you're talking on group message or something like that you will have that arrow where you can catch up the basically the messages you have missed on you tap right there and it takes you right back to the top Apple has added great new features to the App Store as well. First of all, when you go to the search section, you don't have to reach for the search bar right there to start a search. All you have to do is just double tap and it will pop up the keyboard. And from here, of course, you can start typing without having to reach for the search bar. With iOS 17.2, we're also getting the categories at the top of the apps page and the games page as well. So you can filter your games or apps on the app store directly from here. So you can see if I tap there, it will show me only the games or apps from that category. We're also getting some new widgets. Actually, the weather app has three new widgets. So right there, we have one for sunset and sunrise. And then we have here the forecast for today. And then we have there the one with the forecast for the next four days, which is really awesome. So you can see the current weather for today and then the four next days. And right here, you will see the current weather for today and all the different details are right there, like the UV wind and all that stuff. There's also a new digital clock widget, which is pretty cool. So you will have the big digital clock in the middle there. And right here, you can see these thin lines that go all around. They actually highlight and then fade away because they represent the seconds. And you can see how cool that is. I don't know if you will be able to notice this from a camera, but it's actually a pretty cool animation. Now, if you use Apple Music, you will get a bunch of new features with iOS 17.2. And one of them is the favorites playlist. Now, finally, on the Apple Music app, when you favorite a song, it will be added automatically to the favorites playlist, something like the, the Spotify app. So you don't have to actually create a playlist for your songs as your favorite. It will automatically be created and all, that's, all those songs will be added into that playlist. Now you can finally read and write health data using Siri on iOS 17.2. So I can log maybe my weight or my steps or ask Siri for my steps. How many steps did I take today? And just like that, Siri will show you the health data. Now with iOS 17.2, Siri gets another great feature. If you're using directions, you can during directions, ask Siri for your ETA and it will show you your ETA. When you go to the books app on iOS 17.2 and you go to the settings here, themes and settings, you will get this fast fade animation. Now what basically does, it combines the slide and the scroll together and it's pretty cool. So I can swipe like this to go to another page, but I can also swipe like this to move between different pages. So it's actually very, very effective and makes switching between pages very easy and very fast. The news app has now gotten live activities so you go to the settings of the news app and you can enable now live activities now live activities for the news app will work with special coverages so if you're following a special coverage and you have this enabled you will now get the news live activity right on your lock screen as i said the music app on ios 17.2 has gotten a lot of updates 
and this is one of those. So when you go to your settings and you go to music, if you have Apple Music, then you will get this part right here where it says library. And we have here add favorite songs. Now what you get here is an option to choose whether you want to download the favorite songs to your library or not. So if you have this enabled, whenever you favorite a song, it will automatically be added to your library. If you don't want that to happen, you can simply turn this off. One of the new features of iOS 17 is inline prediction. It's a pretty cool feature, but sometimes it's actually really, really annoying. So if you don't need that feature, if you don't want to use it, now with iOS 17.2, you will be able to actually completely disable it from your device. Simply go to your settings, go to general, and then under keyboard, you will get inline prediction. So inline predictions should be right here. Show predictions inline, you can enable it or disable it. If you don't see it, on your settings, just make sure you go to dictation, disable it, and enable it back again, and you should get the option here to enable or disable predictions in line. A new filter has been added to the focus modes as well. So when you go to one of your focus modes, now you can add a filter here, which is the one to use or not the Apple Music listening history. So you go there, you will have the listening history, and you will be able to add it from here. The camera on the iPhone 15 Pro series has gotten a new feature with iOS 17.2. So head on to the camera settings, go under formats, and right here you will find spatial video for Apple Vision Pro. So if you plan to use any videos that you take with your iPhone 15 Pro with the Apple Vision Pro, you can now enable it here and you will be able to use it, of course, to record videos. And also, if you have an iPhone 15 Pro with the action button, now you get translation here on the action button. You enable it from here and now you will be able to quickly trigger the translation on your device and you can see the cool new animation right there at the top of your status bar actually right there on the dynamic island which looks pretty cool. There's also a new option on the book settings. Now you can automatically invert images on a book. Whenever you're reading a book and you're on the dark mode, it will automatically invert all the images on that book. Apple has also added the share name and photo settings to the FaceTime settings and to the phone settings. Previously, you would find this just on the contacts app or the phone app. Now you will have those settings tapping on those. It will show you this screen, which looks very similar or maybe exactly the same like the one on the phone or the contacts app. But now you will have this option to actually change these settings directly from the settings app. Now Apple has added content sensitive warning and of course, it now has also a new feature, which is the one that will check for sensitive content, the posters, and also the stickers that you get on your device. So you can see right here, we have the contacts option. You can enable it to get this feature on your device. So that is it for this video, guys. These are some of the best new features that you will get on your iPhone with iOS 17.2. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Of course, subscribe for more iOS 17.2 videos, and I'll see you on the next one.